ericmother.com. Let's take a look at the chart for Twitter and it is for January 30th, 2018. Now, what I want to discuss here is, you know, when you see a stock trying to break out when the market is in trouble, it generally means one or two things. So right now we are seeing the market pretty much experiencing its biggest down day in many months. All right. So that's the general picture. Now, keep in mind, we are always sensitive to what the market is doing because love it or hate it. 75% of a market's, of a stock's move, I should say, 75% of a stock's move is going to be dependent on the general market's direction. So unfortunately here is at the end of the day, most of the stocks are going to reflect the general climate. So when you see a stock like right now, we've seen Twitter, which has had a decent looking chart, meets the minimum requirements. That's why this was a good breakout when it moved here because it moved its monthly RSI to three year highs and also moved its MACDs to three year highs. So everything was aligned here. Now the problem here I have with the stock, frankly, is while the market has been on fire since 2009, or let's say since 2016, the stock pretty much has been on a down, downward spiral we know that the general market, since the lows of 2016, we've seen the general market really take off, right? So the stock has been underperforming. And it's interesting to watch that right now, if you take a look at the weekly chart, it is trying to break out, which is kind of interesting because this is not what you want to see. You're breaking out too late. You're trying to move at the wrong time when the market is pulling back. We go back to our qualification that ultimately a stock's direction is pretty much tied down to the general market. Again, 75%. And 75% is general market direction. 15% comes from the sector. So the sector is also pulling back. Now you add this and you see that 90% of what influences Twitter is pointing down right now which means that there's a 90% chance this breakout fails so the way one can tell whether this is gonna be a trap for those who are taking this bait is pretty much what one can do is watch the recent weekly closing high the level there is 25.41 which goes back to this close right there, which is January's weekly closing high. If it can hold above that level, then maybe it has a chance, small chance. But if it can't hold above that price, in other words, if it goes on to fail and the breakout fails, this is clear sign. A failed breakout suggests that the next major, major trend for this stock is substantially lower from current prices take a look at the daily we can see the daily here is we are making this improvement intraday to intraday highs but take a look at your technicals they are pointing lower and lower and of course we know that that is negative divergence and negative divergence pretty much is a sign of an instrument again that more than likely with a failed weekly breakout is going to be moving substantially lower and if we take a look at the hourly you can see here right now the stock is being rejected as it tries to move above the RSI level of 69.1 even as it makes this intraday highs at about 26 or above 26 dollars RSI is being rejected at 69.1 not a good sign and if you take a look at the 30 minute chart just to see what's going on you see another 
not so good sign. We made intraday highs, RSI is being rejected around the 69.1 level. So we have rejection at the 69.1 level. And then we also have negative divergence. You combine those two things and the general market climate here looks to me like the best thing to do is watch that weekly chart. If the stock can't hold above the price level we talked on the weekly, which is a price level of 25, 25.41 if it fails to hold above this price watch out because this stock is playing games before it takes the true direction which i suspect is going to be down eric Moavet, .com. as always good luck peace and blessings i am out